Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 14, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all of my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's get to it. And uh, first of all, it was a horrible day when uh, considering inflation. So Inflation hasn't been this high in the United States for the last four decades. So, yes, um, that was. Uh, people are talking about uh, this basically be the peak of inflation. It could be, considering that most commodities uh, have fallen drastically the last few weeks. But that will probably not show up uh, for basically months before that shows up in 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 the cpi data uh, but considering that inflation was in 9.1 percent today um, all hopes that the federal reserve will basically back off with the interest rates hikes and so on that has just gone completely out the window so the market first when the data was released fell significantly all the way down to 11.4k and then it rallied it basically rallied in the beginning of the session up towards the 50 moving average and then dropped um, more than two and a half percent from the highs and then we it basically ended up right above the um, 20 um, simple moving average right in the middle of the Bollinger Band so it is if uh, the market basically thinks that we have reached uh, peak inflation, then there's probably a hope that this will turn around. Around. if uh, the market does not think that, then we may see this mar market drop all the way down to the very bottom here, 11 K or probably even lower than that. We are at an area, if you look at the weekly chart, just above the 200 moving average and that is significant because if you go back into basically the historical data for the for the nasdaq we can see every time we get close to the 200 moving average it tends to rally so uh, we can go all the way back towards 2010 this has been in case it has only been where if we look at the dot-com bubble and also the 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 great recession back in 2008 and 2009 that we fell below the 200 moving average so if we do drop below the 200 moving average then we are looking most likely at a significant um, drop in the nasdaq uh, that probably will last for not months, uh, months, months, months probably several years uh, on the other hand we may do the same thing that we have been doing the last 12 years and that's basically bounce from the 200 moving average and uh, this could be a start of basically building a base you can see that the last uh, five weeks we have basically been in this same area so we may see something similar to this going forward that we just go back and forward within this area and if that is the case then we may see this move to the upside if we break below here then watch out below because this may go significantly lower and if we do we can look at the fibonacci retracements for this and we are testing we are testing we have tested the 50 that is around here that's 11.7k the 61.8 is down here at the 10.5 and that's just as far as this market should go before and after that we should see a bounce um, after that we have the highest here before prior to the coronavirus in 2020 uh, but dropping below 61.8 then who knows how far this market goes then it goes significantly lower but i'm betting on that we are creating a bottom here uh, we'll see tomorrow whether or not that we basically drop but uh, to the upside 50 moving average is offering significant resistance it is still moving in this direction so breaking above here um, and closing in the green candlestick above here probably two of them and that could be a sign that we are about to see a rally to the upside at this current stage uh, momentum is definitely to the downside as we get rejected at the 20 get rejected at the 50 and it looks like we are getting heading back towards the lows but Breaking above here, that could be a, a positive sign for this market. 
MACD at the moment is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and is kind of slowly turning around as the RSI. So technical indicators not very helpful at this at this current stage. So let's look at the uh, SCP 500. Very similar here. You can see that after hours it is uh, dropping uh, uh, further, but it's it has done this uh, the entire day. It's been gone back and forward, uh, and very uh, a lot of volatility. So. Um, day traders have been having a field day today they're trading uh, these indices s p 500 it looks a little bit more bearish as it's dropped below the 20 simple moving average technical indicators we can also see that the stochastic is very bearish so is the rsi and the macd is turning around so momentum at this current stage is to the downside we got rejected here at the 20 got rejected here at the 50 and now it looks like we are heading back towards the lows here of uh, 3,643. However, if we turn around here, 50 moving average is what we need to break above. And breaking above that, then we may go and test this area here, which is roughly around uh, 4,180. And after that, the 200 moving average. But breaking above the 4,000 level, that kind of is a sign that we may see this market turn around. Markets are forward-looking. They, uh, it's nine months into the future, basically what we're looking at. And uh, nine months from now, are we talking about inflation as the same, um, at the same level that we are now? Probably or probably not. But uh, this market will turn around sooner or later. It will not continue dropping forever. But uh, if you look at Fibonacci retracements for uh, the S and P five hundred, we can see that. We had a 38.2 here of 3,825. We have draw broken below that. Then we have the 50 here, 3,516. And then the 61.8 at the 3,206. And that should be as far as this market will drop. So we could drop another probably 10, 15% to the downside, downside. Uh, where we should find a rock bottom uh, considering uh, the Fibonacci retracements. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD uh, is about to turn around. It's still uh, bullish in negative territory. Stochastic is heading into negative territory and it has crossed the signal line, so it's bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum, as I said in the beginning, is definitely to the downside and may see this continue uh, below here. So let's look at the Dow Jones and Dow Jones also here is very negative. We have dropped, uh, we, first of all, we tested uh, 20 simple moving average, got rejected, tested almost a 50 moving average and have been rejected yet again. So breaking below the candlestick right here, which is 30.5K, uh, 30 and that will lead us down towards 29.7K, most likely. 50 moving average is often resistant as we can see it here. We also saw it here, also here and so on. So every time we get, get towards this area, it gets rejected. So people are selling on uh, this rally. We're breaking above the 50 moving average. Then we have this area right here that we need to break through. So roughly uh, 32, 32.4K <coughs> up towards the 32.9K. Breaking above that, then that leads to the 200 moving average, which will most likely moving this direction at this point. But breaking below this opens the door to 29, most likely open the door to 29.6. And after that, we can look at Fibonacci retracements, also for uh, the uh, Dow Jones. And we can see that the 50 is all the way down here at 27.5K. 61.8 is down here at 25 Point three k So Dow Jones has a long way to go before um, it hits the bottom here uh, at the retracement. But we're at 32.2 uh, uh, at the Fibonacci retracement, which is at uh, 29.7. So this could also be the bottom of the market, but we'll see. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish and negative territory, but it is turning around. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is, is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage. So European markets, they have also been all over the place at this current stage. 
We have a double bottom here. Question is whether or not we break below that. Europe is has a massive energy crisis at this current stage. And that is not a short term solution, but probably the best thing that will come out of uh, this crisis is that Europe will go to um, invest in other technologies and will be much more independent uh, 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 going forward. But there's going to be many cold winters probably in the next few years before we get to that point. So we have the bottom here and we have also the top here. So we kind of I'd probably write this in a square rectangle. So the highs and low, we are the highs here and the lows here. And at the moment, we are basically at the lows. So if we have a rally, then we may go towards the 50 moving average. That is at 13.5K. And after that, towards the highs. And it's not until we basically break 14.8 and above the 50 and the 200 moving average that we may see this market turn around. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is, uh, is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. And there's a lot of room to the downside. So, Japanese Nikkei. Also here, we are in a fairly uh, tight uh, range. The highs here are roughly 28.3k, uh, and the lows here are 25.5k. So, momentum at this current stage, well, it's kind of difficult to... to, uh, to uh, measure that because technical indicators are all over the place. MACD is kind of flat at this point. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line to the upside, indicating bullish, and the, and the RSI is flat. What we can say is that the 50 moving average has offered, has offered resistance. We are at the moment trading below that. Uh, 20 simple moving average is right here as well. But getting towards this point, we have seen several times have bounced and uh, getting to this point, we have been rejected. So probably the uh, st strategy here is just to focus on the extremes to the upside or the downside. Seeing weakness here, then people are most likely selling. Seeing strength down here, then people are most likely buying. So let's look at the VIX and VIX, well, has also been all over the place. Uh, we went all the way up to 28.7 um, in the VIX and then got absolutely hammered. So um, at this current stage, momentum is to the downside. And that is a positive for these indices as there's a negative correlation between the VIX and uh, indices and, and, and stocks as well. So when volatility drops or fear basically drops in the market, then people are getting more bullish. And at this moment, VIX is basically showing that the momentum is to the downside. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish as well, just crossing the signal line, and RSI is bearish as well, and there's quite a lot of room to the downside. However, the VIX will most likely find massive amount of support down here at the 200. Yeah, so we may drop yeah. towards roughly 24.7, uh, and then find significant support there and going higher to the upside we have this kind of triple top here which we need to break above in order to go to go higher so at the current stage momentum is to the downside but it'll probably last for one or two days and then this should be going higher so let's look at the us 10 year and as you can see also here, we rallied to the upside to the 20 sip of moving average and got rejected quite heavily. At this current stage, we are trading at we are trading at 2.9, and uh, we have a bottom here of roughly uh, give or take 2.7 around this area. 2.6, 2.7 is where we should find major support to the upside. Um, we went all the way up towards 3.5, but that is kind of an outlier at this point, at this current stage, as everything was just going bananas at this point. So dropping below here, we should find major support uh, around this area. Dropping below that, the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. If we look at the indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So hope you found this helpful. You want to support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button, to see our newest videos. And good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.